So tell me a little bit about this outfit. Um, it's actually an Australian designer. My sister is really good friends with her and loves her. I can't remember her name, but um, I'm excited. Um, to wear it. It's super heavy actually though, so I'm yeah. getting tired. It's like a workout right now. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is. I'm burning calories. So tell me a bit about this new show and what it's like being on reality TV right now. Um, I actually don't know what it's like yet because the show is premiering like right now across the country. So mm -hmm. um, I'm excited for people to see my story, Shiva, Katie, Shauna, and the other girls and you know we'll see what happens. You expressed that you were a little worried about what your family in Oklahoma might think about right. this. How are you feeling about that now? I mean, I'm going to find out tomorrow because I'm busy and everyone's going to sleep there. But, you know, I come from a conservative community and, um, again, I just want to represent my family in an appropriate manner. But at the same time, like, I want to have fun. So I'll deal with it tomorrow. <laughs> have you given them any sort of warnings, like what to expect? You know, like My grandma's known me since the moment I came into the world and she's my last parental unit. So she's used to the F-bombs and everything else so you know honestly I'm not that worried so we'll you know good time well I guess we'll have to find out um, and also I want to ask you a little bit more about your blog because you talk about <laughs> being a mom right, and other right, things can right. you can you tell us a bit about that um, well I'm a mom of five biological children but for many years I had eight total children because of my like my stepchildren mm -hmm. which I considered my own so um, my blog is just kind of like what it means to like function as a woman as a mother as a wife as a person with so many responsibilities as mm -hmm. far as motherhood but still to your yourself to love yourself to take care of yourself and it's okay to be frustrated and I think that's kind of the underlying theme of the blog like genuine motherhood when you're not trying to be like Martha Stewart right perfect yeah right. I love that and does it feel I'm wondering what it feels like since you're one of the very few people on the show who have you know eight kids a lot of the other ones either have no kids or they only have right. stepchildren or they have one child what's it like for you in terms of mixing with the other people who might not be going through the same thing as you in terms of raising uh, raising children? Well, it's like a hindrance as far as day drinking because sometimes like I have to go and do like mom things. But outside of that, um, my kids are the center part of my life. So you balance your life with social you know functions etc so it really like motherhood doesn't hold you back motherhood empowers you and Marissa's a mom and um, she doesn't drink that's the reason <laughs> my creep that's my personal creep I love her but that's the thing Katie doesn't have children and she's still my best friend and we it's perfect she has dogs yes. I have kids We're but like, she claims to be smart for not having children right that's actually not true somewhere. I just no? feel like I have more money <laughs> because I don't spend it yeah. on the crazy things that like kids call uh, I've seen your bed bills. I feel like your dog's no hoverboards. Oh my god, <laughs> kids these days they have like iPads and iMacs, and I'm like, Jesus, oh, where does that money go? She's technology. like, Look at these kids, and I'm like, Thank you, goodbye. <laughs> and there she goes. Yeah, Kate, of course, are the ladies and gentlemen.